Yo, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy Up back with another Dokkan battle video. So this is gonna seem a little bit random, but it was something that was brought to my attention by a lot of people on the Dokkan subreddit. And it's something that I think is super interesting and awesome. But at the same time, I don't think a lot of people would recognize it or even realize that it happened if someone else didn't tell them. So I know I'm being like super obscure right now, but essentially, it has to do with the super attack animation of the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and the fact that Akatsuki in the previous data download or update actually made a very significant change or upgrade to the animation. And before I go any further and tell you guys exactly what happened, let's do a little comparison. So I'll show you guys the old animation first and then the new animation, the new and improved updated animation. And then we'll do like a little you know, side by side and then discuss it further at that time. So let's start with the old animation first, guys. Here we go. By the way, shout out to DBZ World on YouTube. I pulled this off his channel because I could not find this old animation in my like files from the past to save my life. So yeah, thank you so much to DBZ World for this animation right here. There you go, that is the old animation, guys. And let me find the new one here. So I can play it at the same time and watch it with you guys, of course. All right, here we go. So I just recorded this about like five minutes ago. And this is the brand new animation for the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. And I know it's a little bit painful to watch it at one time speed, but I think for the purpose of this video, it makes a lot of sense. So uh, there you go, guys. Let me know right now. I should pause the video and let me know in the comments down below if you guys recognize what the change was, what the difference is, what the update was. And uh, now what we're gonna do is do a little side-by-side -side comparison with both of the animations on the screen. And it should become a little bit more obvious for those of you that missed, missed it the first time, right? So here we go with a replay of both animations. Give me one sec, guys. Okay, there we go, okay. So now we have both animations on the screen. And uh, I think it should become a little bit more apparent what the change was. And of course, at their cores, uh, these animations are essentially the same animation, yet at the same time, they're very different. And obviously, there was a huge, huge bump in the quality of the animation between the old one and the new one. And even though the actual sequence itself stays the same, it's the same attack. It just looks so, so much better in the new one, guys. I mean, there's really no comparison. Okay, you know what? There is a comparison. It's like watching a video in 240p, which is the old one, versus watching it in 1080p, which is the new one. I mean, Vegeta in the new animation just looks so damn clean, guys. I mean, the major difference I can say is that you can actually see him in the new animation, whereas in the old one, it looked like he was like behind some smoke or like fog or something like that. He was like super pixelated, super like, just kind of blurry, man. It was really weird. I, I don't know why they made it like that in the first place, but the new one just looks absolutely amazing. Um, and if I wasn't running SSB a lot before, I'm definitely throwing him on every single team now that I can because I just want to see that clean ass animation as much as possible. And uh, that's pretty much all I want to share with you guys, man. I mean, I know it's not like a game-changing, you know, update or anything like that, but I do think it's super interesting that they decided to do this. And essentially what I think happened is that in the recent data download, they decided to update the animation with HD assets, replacing the very much non-HD or low-res assets that were there before. And I don't know about you guys, but it really, honestly makes a huge, huge difference to me. I definitely want to run this unit now a lot more than I did before. And I really hope it's something that they continue doing into the future. I really hope that they start doing this for older animations from uh, you know, older cards as well. I don't really have many off the top of my head, but uh, I'm sure there's some that you guys can suggest. So let me know in the comments down below actually, uh, which units you want to see get this HD treatment that the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta got and uh, maybe a Bandai Spy passing by, or maybe one day I'll go to like an anime convention or a video game convention and bring your ideas to one of the Bandai employees there and try to make some changes. So yeah, let me know your suggestions in the comments down below right now, guys. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the video, man. I thought it was just a little fun thing I could share with you guys. I don't think a lot of people probably knew about this. At least I didn't until I saw the Reddit posts and there were multiple of them. 
and uh, I saw the side-by-side -side comparison. I was like, dude, that is actually a really, really big difference between the old and new. I didn't even realize actually how not good, like how, how not good, very articulate tiger, um, how just, you know, low res the old animation was, man. It was really, really blurry. It was really, really bad, but I didn't really think about it much because I feel like that's just kind of what I expect from Dokkan, at least back in the day. These days, I expect a lot more from the newer units, but back in the day, man, these animations just looked, you know, kind of dirty, right? But I'm glad they up it, and hopefully they keep doing this thing, they keep continuing this trend, and, uh, you know, props to Akatsuki, props, props to Bandai for doing that. They didn't have to, obviously, and that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it didn't really have anything to do with anything, but... Hopefully you found it interesting in some way. And as always, if you guys liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it guys, that's all I gotta say. Hope you have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.